said our praise team is coming. We're going to clap our hands for them as they come and let the Lord lead them. Amen. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Come on, I need everybody to help me say that. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord. The praises of our King.
refill your spirit on this morning. He's a healer. He's a keeper. He's a deliverer. He's a promise keeper. He's a way maker. He's strong and mighty. He's mighty in battle. Lord, we love you. We love you. We love you. Love you. Yes, God. Yes, God. We love you. We love being in your presence. We love being in your presence. We love being in your presence. In your presence, there is safety. In your presence, there is freedom. In your presence, there is healing. In your presence, there's liberty. Lord, we love being in your presence. We love being in your presence. We thank you, Lord. We welcome you. We welcome you in this place today. Lord, we ask that you would have your way in the midst of us on today. Hallelujah. We thank you for being an able God. We thank you for being an able God. We thank you for being an able God. Hallelujah. And we know, Father God, as believers on today, that there is nothing too impossible for our God. That is nothing that our God cannot do. That is nothing that he cannot come through. Hallelujah. For us, for. Hallelujah. So we thank him on today for being, hallelujah, an able God. The song says, God is able to do just what he said hallelujah I came to encourage somebody that if God told you he was going to do something hallelujah you can stand on his word you can stand on the promises of the Lord because how many know that the promises of the Lord are yes and amen so if he's told you something if he promised you something hallelujah then he is just going to do that in his timing do you believe it on today if you believe it come on and wave your hands in the room hallelujah if you believe it come on and lift your hands online hallelujah if you believe hallelujah that the promise Promises of the Lord are yes, amen. Hallelujah. Come on and wave your hands right where you are on this morning. Come on, we're going to worship him. We're going to worship him today. Hallelujah. Because our God is worthy to be worshipped. Hallelujah, Jesus. We love you. We love you. We love you. Exceedingly. Abundantly. Yeah. 
believe this healing. I 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 know God can. I know God will. I know God can. I know God can. He can do it. God can do it. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it looks like. I believe God. I believe God. I believe God. Come on. I believe God. He's healing. He's healing. He's healing. He's healing. God can do anything but fail. God can do the impossible. He's able. He's able. He's able. Come on. He's able. exceeding 
exceedingly and above. I'm able to go above what you think. I'm able to go above. Hallelujah. What your mind, hallelujah, can even fathom of me. I am God. Hallelujah. And I am able to do. I can do anything. There is nothing to impossible for me to do. I am God. Hallelujah. I'm God. And there is nothing too hard for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I created you. I formed the world in my image. Hallelujah. I formed you in my image. Hallelujah. I made the moon. I made the stars. Hallelujah. I made the earth. I made everything. Hallelujah. That's revolving around us. I am God. Hallelujah. Therefore, I can do and I can, there's nothing that I'm not able to do. Hallelujah. Don't we know that? Don't we believe that on today, church? Hallelujah. That there is nothing too hard for our God. Hallelujah. When we see how he created the universe, when we see how he put things together, hallelujah, how he mended, how he, how he molded us, hallelujah, the things that he has created here on earth. Hallelujah. When we begin to look around and see if he did that, then this small thing, hallelujah, that I need him to do for me, it's nothing too hard for him to do. If he can create, hallelujah, and form such great and mighty things here on earth, hallelujah, just think about what he can do on my behalf with this issue, with this problem, with this circumstance. Come on, church, hallelujah. We got to know who we're serving. We got to know, hallelujah, the God of God that we're lifting and that we're praying to, that we're singing to, that we're worshiping, hallelujah, because we have to know how powerful of a God he is. Our Father is powerful. He is Elohim. He is our God. And there is nothing too hard for our God. Hallelujah. God, we magnify your name in this place today. We realize there is nothing too hard for you. We realize that there is nothing that you are incapable of doing. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for the new beginning. We thank you, Lord God. We put all trust in your hands, oh God. We trust, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you are going to be God in the center of it all. God, we bless you. We thank you for ordering our steps on this morning. My worship belongs to the Lord. I said, my worship belongs to the Lord. Hallelujah. And I stand here this morning to lift up my worship. I say, Lord, here's my worship. Please receive it. Lord, please receive my worship. Please receive my worship, God. Please receive my heart on this morning as I extend it to you, Lord. I offer you my worship. I love you with my whole heart, God. I love you with my whole mind, Lord. Hallelujah. There is no place that I would rather be than in your presence, Lord. Hallelujah. Worshiping and lifting you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. You. Thank you. 
worship you for me. Come on, I want you to say that again. Say that again. Hallelujah. Here is my worship. Yes, Lord, all of my worship. All of my. Receive my worship, Jesus. All of my worship, Lord. Please receive my worship. All of my worship, yeah. Please receive my worship, yes. All of my worship. Everybody worship, everybody worship, everybody worship. 
worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Please receive it. Please receive it, Lord. I'm also all of my words. And I will not be silent. I will always worship. I can't go a day without you, Lord. As long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. Come on, one last time. As long as I... Come on, lift it up all over the house. I will always worship you, Lord. Jesus, worship you. Come on, say, here is my worship. Here is my worship. Stay right there. Here is my worship. Here is my worship, Lord. Here is my worship, Lord. Come on, worship him. In hard times, Lord, hallelujah. In dark times, God, I extend my worship to you, Lord. Hey, your boss, here is my worship, Lord. I give it to you, Jesus. I give it to you, Jesus. I give it to you, Lord. Come on, slip your hands up all over the room and begin to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on and begin to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. We say, God, here is our worship. Here is my worship, God. I extend it to you, Lord God. I extend my worship to you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We say, Lord, please receive it. Please receive my worship. Please receive my worship, Lord. Please receive my worship, God. I lift it to you, God. Hallelujah. I extend it to you, Lord. Hallelujah. Please receive my heart today, Lord. Please receive it. All of my worship, Lord. All of my worship, Lord. You deserve my worship, Lord. You deserve my worship, Lord.
forever and ever, God, we love you. Forever and ever, we serve you. Forever and ever, we bow before you, God. Forever and ever, Lord, we say we love you. We love you. We love you. We love you, Lord. We love you, God. We extend our worship to you. Anybody love the Lord? Hallelujah. Anybody love the Lord with your whole heart, with your whole mind, with your entire soul? Hallelujah. Come on, are there any Jesus lovers in the house on today? Are there any Jesus lovers in the house on today? God, we love you. We love you. We love you. We love you forever. God, we love you past forever, Lord. Hallelujah. We open up our hearts and we receive all that you have for us on today. I love you forever. And we give glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Forever. We give glory to God. Yes, glory to God. Yes, Lord. Sing glory to God forever. Yeah. Glory to God. Yes, yes, Lord. Glory to God. Yes, God. Sing glory. Your name up, yes, Lord. 
the spirit of the Lord is in this room. The spirit of the Lord is all over this house today. Come on and begin to extend your worship. Extend your hands towards heaven and worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. There is beauty in worshiping. There is beauty in worshiping. There is beauty in worshiping. Come on and extend your worship. Come on and extend your worship. Come on and extend your worship. place to worship him. It's a good place to worship him. It's a good place to honor him. It's a good place to bow before his presence. God, we give you glory. 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 It belongs to us. We give you glory, Lord. All the glory it belongs to. All our worship it belongs to. Come on. All of our praise and belongs to him, yes. All of the glory. All of the glory. Glory to God. And we give glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. Right here, worship. Thank you, praise team. Right here, worship. Right here, worship. Right here. We're worshiping right here. Come on, we're worshiping right here. Come on, we're worshiping him right here. We're worshiping him right here. Hallelujah. Come on, I need you to press. I need you to push. I need you to worship. Hallelujah. Whatever you got to do. Come on, I need you to press in his presence. I need in his presence. I need you to fill this room with your worship. I need you to fill this atmosphere with your worship. Come on, open up your mouth and worship. Open up your mouth and lift him. Open up your mouth and bless him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Our God is worthy of all worship. He's worthy of the worship. Worship him, worship him, worship him, worship him. Worship him, worship him. Worship him, worship him. Worship him, worship him. Worship him because he's good. Worship him because he's faithful. Worship him because he's holy. Worship him because he's sovereign. Worship him because he's a healer. Worship him because he's a way maker. Worship him because he's a promise keeper. Worship him. Worship the Lord. 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 Come on. We call upon Elohim. We call upon Elohim. Elohim, come to our rescue. We welcome Elohim in the house. Elohim, we call on you now. We call on you now. Elohim, we call upon your name. We call upon you because you're our God. We call upon the great I am. We call upon the great I am. We call upon the great 
great I am. You said in your word that I am that I am. I am God. I am your redeemer. I am your keeper. I am your deliverer. I am your peace. In the midnight hour, in the darkest of times, I am. I am. I am Elohim. Yeah. 
you. We love 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 you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. And we call upon you. We call upon you because we need you. We call upon you because we want to draw closer. We call upon you, God. Oh, God, in these times, we need you, Lord. Anybody need the Lord? Is there anybody in this house today that truly need the Lord? Is there anybody in this house today that came here with a made of mind? Hallelujah, you came here with a made of mind that nobody got to pump you, nobody got to push you because you know without a shadow of a doubt what God has been to you. You know what God has done for you. You know how he delivered you. You remember how he healed you. You remember how you brought you through. You remember how he brought you out. You remember. Come on, come on. I don't know about anybody else, but all it takes for me is to start reflecting back over my life. Oh, God, I thank you, Lord, that you saved my soul. I thank you, Jesus, that you did not allow the enemy to take me out of here. God, when I was a wretch undone, when I was in a world of sin, when I was doing everything but living for you, God, you still kept your hands upon me. You didn't allow me to sink in my sins. You didn't allow me to drown in my mess. You didn't allow my enemies to triumph over me. But God, I stand here. I'm standing here today. And it's only because of you. It's only because of your grace. It's only because of your mercy that I'm even standing here in my right mind. In my right mind. It's only because of you, God. And I'm going to shut Oh, God. Come on. I don't know about y'all, but it don't take much for me. It don't take much for me. Hallelujah. I don't take my mind for granted. I don't take my soul for granted. I don't take my peace for granted. Hallelujah. Because it's only because of the grace of God that we are here. Nothing that we have done on our own. Nothing that we have done on our own. But it's only because of the grace of God that each and every one of us is here on today. Because if he didn't open our eyes, we wouldn't be here today. If he didn't pump the blood through our hearts, we wouldn't be here today. If he didn't breathe through our lungs, we wouldn't be here today. If he didn't wake us up in our good right mind in our stable minds we wouldn't be here today but God I don't know about anybody else but God I'm grateful but God I'm grateful but I'm grateful Lord I thank you Lord I thank you Jesus I thank him I thank him I thank you I thank him I thank him I thank you do I have any radical believers in here? Hallelujah. Where are the radical believers? 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 Hallelujah, God, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. I thank you, I thank you. I thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for being a promise keeper. I thank you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, for being a promise keeper. Hallelujah. I thank you for making a way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, a way for our escape. 
because when the enemy wanted to hallelujah when he wanted to touch us you didn't allow him to when he wanted to kill us you didn't allow him to when you wanted hallelujah when he wanted to destroy us when he wanted to destroy our family when he wanted to take our minds when he wanted to destroy your children when he tried to rob you of everything that god has promised you come on i said but he wanted to do it not that he did it God didn't let it be so. God didn't let it be so. Hallelujah. Anybody grateful? Hallelujah. For an amazing God that we serve. What a mighty champion he is. What a mighty warrior he is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And aren't you glad that he's never lost a battle? Hallelujah. Y'all too quiet in here. This is church. Hallelujah. You do know where you are on this morning. Hallelujah. I know, hallelujah, many of you had to get in your vehicles to drive here. So I know, I know that you know where you are. This is church, right? Hallelujah. I am in a church. We're not at a rally, right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because they're much louder at the rallies. They're much louder in the streets. They're much louder in the, hallelujah, on the corners. But we are in the house of God. Why aren't we crying out? Why aren't we loud enough? Why aren't we calling on Jesus? Why aren't we lifting him? Why aren't we praising him? Come on, come on, church. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Somebody is being delivered online right now. So whatever y'all don't do up in here, hallelujah, the people of God are being set free and delivered online. So I'm going to look past y'all in here for a few moments, and I'm going to begin to speak to the lives of those that are viewing. Hallelujah. Come on and get your deliverance. Get free, my sister. Get free, my brother. Come on, come on and let God have his way. Let God have his way. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way. Have your way in that sister. Have your way in that brother. Have your way in that young man. Have your way in that young girl. Have your way, Jesus. Move, Holy Spirit. Move by your power. Move by your spirit. God, we welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you, Lord. We welcome you. Hallelujah. God, I thank you. 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 God, I praise you. I praise you. Hallelujah. There is nobody like our God. And I thank him on today. Hallelujah. I thank him on today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to link up. All I need is only two or three real radical believers, hallelujah, to join in with me. I believe I got that online. I believe that I got some radical worshipers and believers, hallelujah, that are connected with me, hallelujah, hallelujah. I can feel the presence and the power of God, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus. I know there's some intercessors online, hallelujah. I know there's some believers online. I know there's some, hallelujah, there's some people of God that are radical for the Lord, hallelujah. They they may not be in the physical building on today, but they're in their homes, they're in their cars. Hallelujah, they're walking on today and they're glorifying the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, what is wrong with us? That God will wake us up and allow us to enter into his house. What is wrong with us? That we'll come here and act as if we don't know where we are. What is wrong with us? That we won't open up our mouths, that we won't lift our hands, we won't even tell God thank you, and we're in his house we're in his house what is wrong with us you got about five seconds you got about five seconds to give God glory
is about to do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's turning it around. And it's going to be for the good. Hallelujah. It's going to be for the good. God's going to turn that situation around. Hallelujah. God's going to turn that report around. God's going to do it. God's going to do it. God's going to do it.
regulator. We thank you for being a yoke destroyer. We thank you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, for destroying every yoke, God. We thank you, Lord God, for releasing comfort in the room, God. We thank you for releasing peace in the room. We thank you for releasing healing in the room, God. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, that souls are being transformed, that minds are being renewed, that the Lord God, that your people are being restored. We thank you in advance that you are bringing your people through, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Heavenly Father. with him because you're afraid because of your past that he will not hear you 
So you say, what's, what, what's the use? He's not going to hear me because I've been, I've, I've been so uh, messy. I've been so broken. I've been so battered. I, I've, I've been just in, in, a, in a place to where uh, I don't even, I don't feel usable. I don't feel wanted. I feel abandoned. But I speak, I speak to you, whoever you are in the household today. I speak to your spirit today. I speak to your soul. I don't know if you're in here. I don't know if you're hearing online. But I speak to your very soul. Bring it down for me, please. Hallelujah. I speak to your spirit on today. And I want you to know that God wants you to talk to him. God uses some of the messiest of messiest of us. Uh, there have been some people in some messy conditions where he found them in some messy conditions. He found them in some, I'm talking about in some, some, some nasty, muggy. I'm talking about dirty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's some people in here today. You were in a muggy situation. And God found you where you were. But look at you here. I just want that, that whoever I'm speaking to, that heart to know. Hallelujah. Don't you allow the enemy to rob you and to speak to your mind and tell you, hallelujah, that you're not worthy enough to talk to your God. The God who which created you, who made you in his image. I don't care what you've done. I don't care where you've gone. I don't care, hallelujah, what you're even in the midst of. Hallelujah. God already knows that. He's just waiting on you to surrender to him and to come to him. You're not abandoned. And I need for you to take up on the spirit of adoption today. Hallelujah. Because he has adopted all of us. He, we are his children. He has adopted each and every one of us as his own. He takes us as his own. I don't care what we have been. I don't care what our past has been like. I don't care what we are even in the midst of right now. He's still waiting to clean up that messy situation. But if you choose to stay in a mindset in which you're in and continue to allow that spirit to overtake your mind, hallelujah, then God, he, he, he can't deliver you. He can't free you. But I need you to make up in your mind right now, hallelujah, whoever I'm speaking to on today, hallelujah, tell yourself, that I am a child of God. Tell yourself that I am loved by God. I am wanted by God. Hallelujah. That he loves me. That I'm not an accident. That I'm not abandoned. That I am wanted by him. Hallelujah. I don't care who have walked away from you. I don't care who has abandoned you. Hallelujah. You're not abandoned by your creator. He loves you. He loves you. And he's here waiting to hear from you. He wants you to talk to him. He wants you, hallelujah, to love upon him. He wants you to need him. Right where we are all over the room, come on and slip your hands up. Where's pastor? Last night about 2.30 in the morning, we are going to move. I just feel the power there's such a, a, a heavy anointing in this room on this morning. There's such a heavy presence in this room on this morning. And God is gathering and getting his people in position. About 2.30 in the morning, I don't even know if my husband, I don't even know, but I was sitting up in the bed, and my husband was lying asleep at the foot of the bed, at the end of the bed. And he just started yelling out, God is coming for his people. He was asleep. He had his hand in the air, bent over like this. And he said, God is coming for his people. 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 He was asleep. I'm watching him. God is coming for his people. So after the fifth time, he was gone out. There was nothing. 
and I, I'm looking at him, and all I could do was say, Jesus. I don't know what God was showing him. I don't know if he was even aware of what he was even speaking from out of his mouth. I don't know. But I believe that God is coming for his people. And I believe that he is looking for a church without spot or wrinkle. Wherever you are today, it is time to get your soul right with God. You cannot play off base in this season, in this day and time that we're living in. I know the world is in celebratory mode right now. But let me tell y'all something. Celebrate. Because what's about to come up on this land, what's about to come up on this land, y'all think COVID was something. But we ain't seen nothing. Get yourself in a place and stay there. Get your soul right. Get anchored. Get in your word. Stay before the presence of the Lord and don't move from there. This is not the time for us to get distracted. We have to draw closer to God like never, ever before. Because God is coming back for his people. And it's much sooner than you think. He's much closer than we think. Start gathering your children. Start talking to your children. Start teaching your children. Start getting order in your house. Start getting your family together. Hallelujah. Start getting your family together. Start gathering your family. Cover your family. Talk to your children and give them an understanding of what is happening. Because many of our children don't, they don't understand what is going on right now. Talk to your children. Gather them. And get your house in order. I decree and I declare that there shall not be one left behind. I decree and I declare that not one of our children shall be left behind. I decree and I declare that not one soul, not one believer, not one pastor, not one bishop, not one mother, not one evangelist, not one relative, not one aunt, not one uncle, not one cousin. I decree and I declare that not one soul shall be left I was speaking to pastor and I told him there's no sense for us to add not another thing there's no, no sense to add not another thing there's nothing else need to be. We have done all of that. We're in a place to where now it's only about reaching souls. Reaching souls. Getting the souls saved as many as possible. Reaching as many as we can reach. Because what is about to come up upon this land, they are going to be running from the east, from the west, from the south, from the north. They're going to be trying to run into church buildings. Hallelujah. Many of them are going to be turned away because there shall, there's not even going to be enough room to contain. A building won't even contain. A building won't even hold. Hallelujah what God is about to do here on earth before he takes, before he comes to get his people. We have to be ready and we have to get ourselves in position. We have to make sure that we are anchored, that we are right. We have to make sure that we're repenting daily. Repent for the things that you that you never came back to even say, Lord, I'm sorry for. 
repent for those things. I know you, you sometimes we think that we're when we come to Christ, when we when we change our lives and we come to Christ, yeah, some stuff you need to go back and repent for. Some stuff you never even said, God, I'm sorry. Lord, forgive me for it. Start making things right. Start getting things in order. With whomever you got to get things in order with. Get things right. Hallelujah. There's nobody worth me going to hell for. I'm not going to hell for nobody. I don't care who you are. I don't care how you mistreated me. I don't care what you've done to me. I don't care how you lied on me. I don't care how you ostracized. I don't care what you've done to me. You're still not worthy of me burning in hell for eternity. Nobody is worth that. Don't you know that when we come into the house of the Lord, many times we've come in here and we act as if we don't know where we are. We act as if we have rejected the spirit and the presence of the Lord. Don't you know that that stuff is going to flash right before your eyes? You're going to see that again. Every, every single time you've set up under the power of God and you've allowed everything else to rob you of your retention, that stuff is going to flash before your eyes before it's all said and done. People of God, church, please hear me. If you don't hear another word I say to you today, time is drawing nigh. It's time for us to get our souls right with God. We already know that he's nothing to play with. But he is coming back for his people. And he's coming back much sooner than we think. What has taken place in our government, what has taken place and what is going around, going around all over this nation, it's already in the book. It's already, the plan is already, is already, all of this is already in the book. It's already there. These are the end times. And there's no need for us to do anything else. But it's time for us to reach souls. It's time for us to get be about our father's business. We have to be about our father's business. There's so many lost souls in the world. We need to be in position to reach them before it's too late. Don't let the sun go down. Don't let the sun go down if you've not made it right. If you are in this place on today and if you do not know God, I can introduce you to him right now. If you're in this room and you want to rededicate your life to God, we can get that done as well. But whatever you do, the word of the Lord says, the day that you hear my voice, heart out your heart. Don't walk out of here today and you have not made it right with God. Don't walk out of here today because no man knows the day nor the hour. None of us know. Get your soul right with God. No man knows the day nor the hour when the Son of Man shall appear. He shall appear. He's coming back. And he's looking for a church. He's looking for a people without spot or wrinkle. He says the righteous will scarcely make the move. We are the church. We are the righteous. Just to think that we're just going to scarcely make it in. Is something else all in this world. But the day you hear my voice, I'll make your heart You don't need anybody to say or do anything else for you. All you need to do is to be in position with the Lord on today. Come on, let's lift your hands up all over.
over there. Thank God we have an entire house that knows God and that are saved. Thank God for a saved house. Thank God for a saved house. God, we bless you on today. We magnify your great and your mighty name on today. Lord, we realize, oh God, hallelujah, that what's about to come, Father God, we're going to need you like never before. We're going to need your presence like never before. But we thank you, Lord God, that the blood is upon our doorposts, God, and that nothing shall come nigh our dwelling places. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, that you are going to cover your people. We thank you, Lord God, that you have been doing just that, God. And Father God, we just pray, Lord God, that you don't remove your hands up over our head, God. That you don't take your hands up off of us, oh God. Oh God, but just, you'll just continue, Father God, to have your way. Have your way in our lives, oh God. Continue to cover us and shield us in the days, Lord God, to come in Jesus' name. God, I praise you. I honor you. And at this time, our pastor is coming. But as he's preparing to make his way, come on and lift your hands all over the room. Come on and lift your hands all over the room. Everybody lift your hands and prepare your hearts for the man of God as he's coming up this time. The power of the Lord is in this room. Keep a heart of worship. Our pastor and our leader, Pastor John David Wright, is coming at this time. Please receive him. Come on, clap your hands and give God a praise. We give you all the glory. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Come on, slip your hands up just for another minute. We give you all. God bless you, two sisters. Hallelujah. We thank God for First Lady Wright, allowing the Lord to use her. I need seven folks that know how to pray just to point your hand at her and start praying for her right now. Don't touch her. Don't wrap nothing around her. Just send strength that way. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
Have your way, Holy Ghost. Have your way, Lord. Where them seven praying folks at? Where you at? Only need seven of you. Hallelujah. I see the prayer warriors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. When you pour out like that, you need people praying for you. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and shout, it is so. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. While the Spirit of the Lord is yet moving, we want to receive our tithes. Amen. I said, wow, the Spirit of the Lord is moving. I didn't say, stop the Spirit of the Lord and receive. I said, wow, the Spirit of the Lord is moving. Anybody ever sowed a seed while you were speaking in tongues? So while the Spirit of the Lord is moving, God's been good to us. Those of you that are watching online, our online giving is on the screen. You can sow through cash at He got it. Bible says bring all the time into the storehouse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. If you need an envelope, slip your hand up. Thank you, Lord. Come on, I want you to make your way into the center aisle. Visitants or tithing pay week, or you did it online already. We want you to stand as we're praying. Yes, Hold on.
hold that up in your right hand. We can sow, we can sow seed and still be in the spirit. Hello, somebody. We can give unto the Lord. You ought to be in the spirit when you give unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, hold it up in your right hand. Father God, we thank you for the seed that we're sowing. We thank you for the tithe that we're giving. We thank you for this 10% that you blessed us with, God. But we pray right now that that 90% that's still in our bank account, that's still in our wallets, still in our pocketbook. God, I pray right now that you bless that 90%, stretch it, let every bill be paid and every need be met. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody shout, here I go, trusting God again. Come on, bring your tithe and say, I'm blessed. push that camera angle. I'll say yes. Lord, yes. I will trust you. Everybody got a made up mind to tell the Lord yes. I'll say yes.
Somebody wave your hand and say, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I know the hour is far spent. We over our CDC time, which is an hour and a half. We should have been out of service by 1230. But if you're going to call the people on me, I'm going to do the benediction now. If you all promise not to report me, I'll go ahead and give this 15-minute sermonette. I don't know. I can't see behind the mask. You might call the people on me. of the Lord is in this place. Hallelujah. Minister Fisher, Minister Morgan, and Elder McCray. Elder Aiken, bless you. Elder Holloman's watching online. Amen. Bless him. Hallelujah. Amen. for the family of Bishop Willie James Campbell. It seems like we can't get a break every time we turn around. Somebody else is leaving us. And on, on last week, Sunday, I was talking on my way home, talking with my friend, Brother Mike McClain. He posted on Facebook. He said, pray for me. I'm not feeling well. I don't want to go to the hospital. I called him immediately. And me and Mike been friends for 25 years. He got me both my cards. He got all my cards. We just started a podcast called Truth and Propaganda. I'm on the phone with him Sunday night. I said, man, let me know how you're feeling tomorrow after they take you to the emergency room. He's in the rehab center. He said, yeah, Dave, I'm going to hit you in the morning. I woke up that morning on the group chat with me, my friend Lindsey Williams, and Dean, and Mike McClain. And we're like, where's Mike? And we get a message, Mike died last night. You can be talking to somebody one night, and the next day they're gone. 43, 44 years old. You still think it's time to play around? Hello. Last week, Saturday, one of the greatest singers of the gospel, friend of my father's, he's been here to preach, been here to sing. Bishop Rance Allen went in for a little back surgery, leg surgery, didn't come out to the hospital. Got his funeral next Saturday. 
Yesterday morning, I get a phone call that one of my mentors preached my mama's funeral and my daddy's funeral. Gone. God is coming for his people. And I know this ain't biblical. I've studied on it, and I know it ain't biblical. But it seems like to me, like look like a slow rapture is going on. That ain't the Bible, because the Bible says in the twinkle of an eye, we're all going to be caught up. But I'm just telling you what it seemed like. And um, if this were any other Sunday, I would not even preach because we're, we're past time. But I have to give you what God gave me. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. And um, just a word of encouragement. Our service is from 11 to 12.30, so if you come at 12.30, you're really coming for the benediction. Amen, saints. Hallelujah. Amen. But we thank God. Uh, there's so much to pray for. We're going to get right into the word of God. Hallelujah. Father God, word my mouth. Guide my mind and hide me behind the cross. Just for these few moments, Lord, help me to preach your word. Because I can't preach nor teach without you. So have your way in me and through me. So that we can be edified and you glorified and the devil horrified. In the name of Jesus we pray. Everybody say amen. Second Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. Musicians, I promise I'm not going to tarry long. Amen. Verse 1 through 5. King James Version, and this is on the screens for you. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breaketh, that's liars, you know. Um, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, conceited, or high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Watch this, verse 5. Having a form of God but denying the power thereof. From such, what it say? Turn away. Oh my, my subject today, it's foggy, but don't panic. It's foggy, but don't panic. It's foggy. One of the scariest conditions to travel in is fog. Whether you're on a plane or on a bus or on a car, fog is so dangerous. Planes won't even take off if it's too foggy. I've been on a plane and taken off in a thunderstorm, a snowstorm. But when it got foggy, we stopped the flight. They'll shut down a highway because of fog. But I, I found out that when I got caught in the fog one time, when I was an early driver, uh, a young driver, I would put my high beams on because it was foggy. But they told me that's the worst thing you can do because now you distract the other drivers and you can't really see if you put your high beams on. So I had installed in my little Honda Accord some fog lights. Anybody know about cars? And I thought they were going to put the fog lights on the top of my car. But what they did, these are for people that ever drove, fog lights go on the bottom of your car. You know what I'm talking about, Elder. So they put the fog lights on the bottom of my car because they said to me, you don't need the lights to be on the top because you ain't trying to see the top. You're trying to see where you're going. So you... You need the fog lights now. These new cars come with them installed already on the bottom of the car. Amen. 
I'm trying to help you ladies. Amen. If you ever get caught in the fog, turn your fog lights on. It'll help you see the path. Instead of seeing the finish line, you see the pathway. And that's why the Bible says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. This is not the time just to take the word of preachers just because they're on TV or because they're popular or because they got a big name. But this is the time to know the word of God for yourself. If you don't know your word, you're going to find yourself listen to, listening, I hope I can say this on a Sunday morning, listening to every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Amen, somebody. The Bible speaks of many false prophets, false teaching, and crazy folk with titles. And I'm telling you, if it does not line up with the word of God, disconnect yourself from it. Amen. If I'm ever preaching something other than the word of God, I want you to take your bags and get on out of here as like the building is on fire. If you ever around somebody and they look like they're trying to preach the gospel, but it ain't the word of God, turn around and run. The Bible says from such turn away. I don't care how popular they are. This is not the season of popularity. This is the season of gospel truth. That brings me to our text. I'm halfway through and, and it gives us a preview. This text gives us a preview of what the last days will be like. It gives us a warning. And we know that warning comes before destruction. The word says that in the last days, men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, don't even know how to love, truth breakers. You know what a truth breaker is? Amen. They say they can't hear online, so what I'm going to tell you to do, um, where you at, um, Richard Clay, I want you to put, there's a button there that says on, and just start pushing the volume up. Do it about three times. Right there on the, on the switcher board. Where you should see somebody help them. Amen. And then you push the volume up, and they'll be able to hear me a little bit better. Amen. So, Blasphemers, truth breakers, that's people that don't keep their word. We ain't got no truth breakers in the church, do we? Amen, amen. False accusers. We ain't got no liars in the church neither. I don't think we do. Incontent. Amen. Fierce. Despisers of those that are good. Traitors, heady, high-minded. We ain't got no high-minded folks. I know that. Uh, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. And watch this. Having a form of godliness. Form F of O godliness. G, fog. Beware of the fog. That's people that look the part. They dress like it. But they have no power and no word. Yeah. And the Bible says from such turn away. And we cannot keep getting fooled by folks that have titles and that have crosses and have nice robes and nice suits unless they are operating in the will of God. We can't keep listening to everybody. And some folks rather listen to a preacher than open the Bible. 
you got to know the Word of God for yourself. I'm not just talking about Tuesday night Bible study and Friday night prayer. You should be reading your God, your Bible all the time. And don't just read the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You better read. Go to Revelation. Don't get scared of it. Go to Revelation and see what times we are in. Because we are in perilous times. We in the last days. We want to read the scriptures about prosperity and that's good. I read them too. But if you just eat ice cream and, and banana pudding cheesecakes all the time and never get no potatoes and no uh, broccoli and no, no real substance, then you'll be an overweight mess. We got a lot of obese folks that ain't high. Oh. Amen. We got a lot of big folks. They read certain scriptures, but when it comes to the things of the last days, they are lost and out of their mind, and you cannot panic. That's why the children of God, the people of God, this is not time for us to panic. And I, I, I'm, I was kind of wondering, Fisher, you know, all of these people leaving here, I don't know if I'm going to be here tomorrow. Should I panic? No, I should rejoice because this world ain't my home, no how. Amen. But it's hard to rejoice when you fell in love with the planet Earth. Hard to rejoice when you fell in love with the things of this world. But it's easy to rejoice when you got in your mind that this world ain't your home, no how. Amen. There, there you go, Deke. There you go. I love it. I love it. And, and, and if you haven't realized yet, we are living in the last days. When preachers would rather preach politics than the gospel, we are in the last days. When they rather talk about Trump than Jesus, we are in the last days. Because the truth of it is, for the people of God, I don't care if it's Trump or Biden, we covet. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. I said, I don't care who in office. They can put Boo Boo the Clown in there. If I'm a child of God, I'm covered. Lord, have mercy. Amen? When pastors would rather call on angels from Africa than angels from on high. And it's not, it's not the fact that she called on angels from Africa, but the people that were helping her. When you got people following you in your folly, people following you in your foolishness. And I've seen it right here at New Grace Tabernacle. Folks that were out of their mind had a following. People that couldn't read two scriptures at the same time had, a, had somebody following them. And this is not the time nor the season to go with every wind that blows. Some folks is crazy. Angels from Africa. Show me in the word of God. But when you got people that are up there, you got, four, and I ain't calling nobody names, when you got people that are tele, on television, you think you got to take their word because of where they are. Not everybody that's up is being used by God. There's somebody in a storefront church right now that you don't know their name, that God is using them to preach the true and living word of God. Hmm. Beware of the fall. They have a form of godliness lacking the power thereof. But God is looking for some believers that may not have the name, may not have the clout, may not even have the platform, don't have the fame, but they're willing to preach the gospel in season and out of season. Amen. And I got a made up mind that come what may, God still has my yes. Woo. 
it troubles me when I see people celebrating a man more than they'll celebrate God. I'm talking about the saints. When you celebrate a man more than you celebrate Jesus, that's a problem. Hallelujah. When you celebrate a man more than you celebrate the man that woke you up this morning, that's a problem. Amen. But I'm determined, and I need all my preachers, to be determined to preach the true living word of God. Amen. Now that's preachers with a title and preachers without a title. Don't say, oh, I can't preach because I'm not, I ain't got my papers. Later for the papers. It ain't the first time you've been driving dirty. How many of y'all ever drove a car without a license? Where you at? Tell the truth. <laughs> Me. <laughs> all the dads all the raise their hand. All, every last one of y'all. Amen. Don't wait on the papers to preach the gospel. But preach in season and out of season. The true and living word of God. So don't panic. Don't be afraid. Just preach the gospel. And the gospel ain't Republican or Democrat. Woo! God almighty. The gospel ain't a Republican thing nor a Democratic thing, but it's a everybody thing. Amen? And we need to tell this world that there's a man named Jesus. Yeah. That was born of a virgin named Mary. He was crucified on an old rugged cross. Anybody know about the cross? Over 2,000 years ago, he hung, bled, and died. He was in the tomb for three days. But while his body was in the tomb, his spirit went down to hell, kicked the gates of hell open, took the keys from the devil, and got victory over death. Then he looked back and said, Death, where is your sting? Grave. Where is your victory? And then three days later, he rose with all power in his hands. That's the gospel. God Almighty. See, folks don't get excited about that. That's the gospel truth. Now, all the stuff, he going to bless you with a house in 30 days. He going to give you a new car. He going to raise your credit score. All that stuff is extra, but it don't mean do this squat without him getting out the grave. When the last time you got excited because he rose? Let me talk to the folks online. Because I don't know what you're doing behind the mask if you're frowning or smiling. When the last time you got excited about everlasting life? Because if you believe the story I just told you, it don't matter if the world ends tomorrow or next year. You are covered. You going home to glory. I'll see them again. I need you to look at somebody and tell them don't panic. It's all in his plan. Come on, if you believe it, shout glory. Open your mouth and shout, don't panic. Don't worry about it. He got the whole world in his hands. If you believe it, give him glory. Yes. Somebody shout yes. Yes, Lord. Get right, church. 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 Get get right, church. 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 I said, get right, church. Get right, church. Get right, church. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get right, church. And let's go home. Get right, church. 
God is coming for his people. The trumpet shall sound. He was coming on a horse. God is coming for his people. Get ready. Get right, church. God, help me in here. Get right, church. 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 Hey. Yes, Lord. I want to be ready. When he calls my name, I need you to wave at somebody and tell him it's time to get right. Come on, I need you to wave at somebody across the way and tell him it's time to get right. It's time to get right. Playtime is over. He's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. He's coming back for a people that ain't ashamed to call on the name. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Yes. I'll call him. Till my last breath, I'll call him until my last blinking eye. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, Rose of Sharon. Jesus, son of the living God. Jesus, my way maker. Jesus, my healer. Jesus, no man comes to the Father unless you come through Jesus. Muhammad can't do it. I don't got no help in this sanctified 1745 Pacific Street. Buddha can't do it. Confucius can't do it. The Jewish folk and that fake Messiah can't do it. But I serve the true and living God. Oh, oh glory. And his name is Jesus. I wish I had about five folks that say preach pastor. His name is Jesus. He died for my sin. He rose for my eternal life. And as long as I live, yeah, 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 yeah. As long as I live, I shall call on the name of Jesus. When I'm in trouble, it's Jesus. When I'm sick, it's Jesus. When I'm down, it's Jesus. Somebody open your mouth and shout, Jesus. Hey. Hey, 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 oh, hey, oh, glory. All right. I wish I could get you to just wave your hand. When you wave your hand, it does what your mouth can't do. My grandmama used to say, if I couldn't say a word, ah, oh, I'll just wave my hand. I'll wave my hand when I got a mask on. I wave my hand. When the devil try to shut my mouth, I wave my hand. When I'm depressed, I wave my hand. When I'm downtrodden, but when I wave my hand, I feel strength. Anybody feel strength? Hey! Hey! Ah! Hey! 
All right. Bless you. The word of the Lord is blessed. We going, we getting out of here. First lady said it. Get your families together. Tell your children. Amen. This is not the time. And listen, I'm, I'm going to be, can I, can I keep it a thousand with you? When the word of God is going forth, and it's a life-changing, soul-saving word, if you focused on anything else, you going to miss it. And, and I ain't trying to miss nothing God is saying right now. Folks is talking about, well, what did the prophets say? And what did this one say? Bump that. What did the word of God say? They used to look in the Love Express to see when the next prophet was coming to town because they were too lazy to turn the Bible pages and see what God was saying. It's time to read your word, saints. If you don't have a Bible, I'm going to give you a Bible today. I got 13 Bibles left in my office. Anybody need a Bible? i give you a Bible. Amen. That's the word of the Lord. I don't have nothing else to say. When God finished, I'm finished. Amen. We getting ready to move. We getting ready to move. We already opened the doors and people already got saved. Two people gave their lives to Christ. Amen. I'm not going to do a prayer call because the way the spirit was in here, all you had to do was lift your hands and, and whatever you needed would have came right over you. Amen. We know that everybody is saved, and the ones that wasn't saved got saved. And it's time, it's time for us. To, anybody, you, you want to see all your family go to heaven? Where you at? I don't want to see my children, my cousins, my I don't want to see nobody go to hell. And watch this, this is going to really mess you up. I don't want to see none of the church folk go to hell. Some folks come to church every Sunday and don't know Jesus. They stop by on their way to Family Dollar and just hang out with us for a little while. It's time for everybody to develop a relationship with Jesus. Amen. Clap your hands and get God praise. Very quickly, everybody, under the sound of my voice, I want you to get a $20 seed in your hand. We're going to do this quick. We're going to do this quick in five minutes. Come on. And I want you to run in the center aisle. Those of you that are online, I want you to get that $20 seed in your hand. We're going to do this quickly. Quickly. Amen. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you, Sister Lisa. That little boy that you brought here with you, your nephew, how's he? I've been praying for him. That God cover his mind. And wherever he does, he, he don't stay with you, do it. Wherever he stays, God is going to saturate that atmosphere with his presence. God's going to saturate that entire atmosphere. Amen. Yes, Lord. While they're coming on next Sunday, we will celebrate our church mothers. It's the third Sunday of November. We won't do it in our traditional way, but I will pay homage and honor to our church mothers. And we lost one of our mothers from last year to now, Mother Moore. We'll do a special tribute to Mother Moore. We'll be working on that this week, but we're gonna celebrate our mothers. I know all of our mothers can't come out like they want to because of the coronavirus. You know, they gotta be careful. It attacks the elderly different than it does us young folk. But thank God for Mama P, Mother Sheila, Mother Missouri. Amen. 
Amen. Mother Meredith and uh, Mother Brown, Mother Taylor, Mother Doe. We're going to celebrate them. And then on the first Sunday of December, we will be celebrating Men's Day. Can I tell you something? I thank God for a church that got men in it. Real men. Amen. Because they're the spirit loose on this earth. You, you know, you know they're, they're trying to demasculate the, the black man. They want us to wear dresses and all other kind of foolishness. I, not me. Amen. I'm going to be an ashy man. Amen. You know, some, a man ought to have some little bit of ash on him. A little bit. <laughs> Amen. Everybody get something in your hand, whether you're doing it online or doing it in the sanctuary. Hold that seed up in your right hand. God, we thank you for the seeds we're sowing. We know we're sowing it in the good ground, and we expect the great harvest to come our way. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody shout, here I go. Trust in God again. Come on, bring your seed and say, I'm blessed. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Oh, oh, oh give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. For he is worthy. Oh, 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 oh. He is worth he. For he going home. Thank you uh, to all of the food pantry workers all week long. A glorious time with our food pantry. We were able to serve hundreds of people all week long. Amen. And we, we again will be doing the food pantry. You know the hours. And if you're able to help and do it with a spirit of love and kindness. We need your help. We need your support. Amen. We thank God for what he's doing in his ministry. Our construction project is yet going on. And don't panic when you see the construction going on. It's going to look a little crazy around here. But sometimes it got to get worse before it get better. Amen. We, we got to go through an ugly phase. And the ugly phase is a fence around the whole property and wood all over the place and brackets and stuff and all this stuff like that. But you got to go through the ugly phase in order to get to the beauty that God has promised us. Amen. So it's going to, you, you, you know it when it happened. Amen. Be praying that God will continue to send the finances and be praying for your pastor that I have wisdom in every meeting that I go into. Amen. I'm so glad we own the building. I thank God for my wife, First Lady Wright, allowing the Lord to use her. Come on, we're going home. Good to see you, Sister Cheryl Wilson. The McLeans, good to see you all. We still praying for you, Deacon McLean. Amen. 
I did a Bible study on grief and what you feel is normal. Amen. We got to stop acting crazy, making folks feel like if they cry about something, they lose and they, they crazy. No, no. You ain't been through where they been. You better cry. Crying helps you not to lose your mind. Come on, lift your hands to the Lord. God, we thank you for your presence in this place. We pray right now for traveling grace and traveling mercies. We thank you for your anointing that's saturated in this room. We pray right now that the same anointing that is in this room be on our cars, be in our trucks, be on the bus, the train, and even in our homes when we get there. And we'll give your name more glory, praise, and honor until we meet again. Everybody say, thank God. Amen. 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 Oh, ah, 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 amen. Come on, everybody say, ah, ah.